ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It is your boy DD Kills, and today this video is going to tell you how to be a noob in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remaster on any Call of Duty that has one of these little bad boys over here. Now, you see this LMG, right? People use them all the time. Now, this is what I personally think. When I get killed by one of these little bad boys, it really frustrates me. So I thought, okay, if people are killing me like this, how about I make a video and I do the same? So I can throughout the whole game either on this side or another side or wherever the, there is one of these little bad boys. So I can, then all I gotta do is spray. That's, that's it. It's that easy. That's literally how to be a noob in Call of Duty just spray and to top it all off I was using a sniping class so if someone shot me and got a hit marker I'll get off the turret I'll aim and I'll have a look who it is and yeah but this guy didn't get a hit marker he just stared at me the whole entire time oh well, well I thought I had a sniper I think I changed it to a sniper later on into the game but anyway as you can probably hear Sosa Bennett's in the game as well and he's calling me a noob and stuff later on in the game plays that oh Drew really and stuff so you know it's free jokes but at the end of the game I got the highest KD in the game like I had over 30 kills less than 10 deaths so you know you gotta keep watching I'll show you a little tip or two on how to use the LMG like a perfectionist oof need to even store my words over there but well that's generally how to be a noob um so whilst the title was that and this guy got popped so now it's my turn look at that you get one kill then you just spray you gotta hope for the best and spray when you can, but then you get killed by that same sniper. So you know you're gonna watch the kill cut. But anyway, whilst we're talking about how to be a noob, I might as well talk about something else, because you can't really explain how to be a noob. I mean, you could say you get an RPG as well, but why would you wanna use an RPG from here? You ain't gonna get no kill, so what's the point in that? So, you know, it's a bit pointless. So, we might as well talk about what I personally think the next Call of Duty will be and I know I made a video in the past about it but I mean that was quite a while back so I might as well talk about it now with all the information that I've gathered and um, I'm like 90% sure 100% sure that it will be boots on the ground because if they do it they've ruined their franchise they've lost all their money and they might as well give up they honestly should give up and that ain't something Activision would want because you know they're money greedy biatch and this is another part to be a noob get an LMG to shoot down their kill streak that's alright you get the points their helicopter goes but anyway Activision is a money hungry whore that when they smell that little one pound or that one cent or that one penny in fact they're like mm, where's the money I want more money every penny counts come on you know, it's like, that's what they think. And, you know, you, you buy all the little micro transactions like the DLCs and the other stuff that they offer. But when you make a game like Infinite Warfare, you're, gonna, you're bound to lose all the sales. I mean, look at what you're doing. You lost 50% of sales within three years of you having the game. I mean, it's not even a finished game, which is something I really don't understand. Why would Activision, who is Infinity Ward's boss man, letting you just... I, I don't get it. How are they letting you publish an unfinished game? That type of game I could have made. And the turret on this side is the best turret you're ever going to find. When you have C flag, F flag, and B flag, you can spawn trap or even just shoot. I mean, where I was aiming then, but occasionally it's better to go down and up so just in case I'm trying to kill you. But you can shoot there, or if you look a bit to the left where that blue little thing is inside that window, you see one person just spray. Like, I'm gonna get killed, but you spray in that room, we guarantee you to get a lot of kills in there. Trust me, I know, I've done it. And you'll see in this gameplay, I'll get like five, six people or something, but. But going back to my point is, why is Activision letting them? There's something I don't understand. 
I know Activision wants money, but they've actually lost so much money letting them publish a shit game. I mean, it's not finished. There's no leaderboards. They've only just confirmed that the leaderboards are coming at the end of January. So since November, the release, we got, you count November as a month, so November, December, January. Three months for a leaderboard, which is surprising. Call of Duty 4 had leaderboards, Call of Duty 5, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare 3, Ghosts, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3. All of those games actually had a leaderboard and now you're telling me that Infinite Warfare is struggling to literally copy and paste a leaderboard into the bloody game. It's something I don't understand. I really don't catch the idea and how that works and then infinity ward have the guts on reddit to say ah oh, still thinking what to put on the combat record i mean i mean i mean i'm like oh are you serious you've had three years and you still haven't thought of what type of combat record you want hello have you got a computer yes you do otherwise you don't make call of duty have you got Google? I'm sure you do because you're able to post. Have you heard of something called SEO, search engine optimization? Or in fact, have you just heard of a search engine? Because I'm pretty sure you can find one of those on your computer where you could type in fans favorite, the word fans favorite, right? Combat record in Call of Duty. Or better yet, Think of the combat record that gives you the most description, right? Black Ops 1 combat record was amazing. Black Ops 3 had an amazing combat record. Mod... nope. Black Ops 3, yes. Modern Warfare Remaster combat record tells you the details of your weapon. So I don't get where you are struggling to find and to think of, oh, what combat record should I have? I mean, are you serious? I mean, is it, is it that difficult to put a combat record on the game when Black Ops 1 was the first Call of Duty to do it? And they had it with the release of the game, their game was finished? And you're telling me you got three years to not think? That's stupid. Honestly, right now, all I have is hate for Call of Duty and the reason I've got hate is because of Activision. It's not even... It might be Infinity Ward's fault because we don't know what's happening closed doors but all we know is that they're the developers. Activision is their boss man. Boss mans are telling Infinity what to do but then Infinity Ward are doing what they're being told like they're little dogs so... I'm pretty sure Infinity would have a mouth, don't they? So why don't they open their big gob and say, Hey boss man, I ain't doing this. The fans won't like it. But then, you know, it's Infinity Ward, they're scared to even open their mouth. So they're like, yeah boss, I'll do that for you, don't worry. I think we'll get a lot of people in there. I mean, really? You, you think you're going to get a lot of customers with space? You think you're going to get a lot of customers with jumping, wall running? But anyways, back to this. Look at that. I'm on a 16 kill streak from here. I haven't even... Uh, I think I have, but... Yeah, not sure. No, I haven't even died yet this whole half. I mean, you know, being a noob is amazing. But yeah, I know I've gone off track on how to be a noob, but you can't really talk about how to be a noob, so I talk, spoke about it a bit. But I'm mainly talking about how stupid they are. I mean, Infinity War are stupid. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand. How can you be so retarded to as not to have a bloody combat record? Not to have an emblem editor. Yeah, Black Ops 3 didn't have a paint thing, but it had combat record. It had a leaderboard. You're struggling to import something that probably takes less than a day's work. And the reason why everyone's got more hate is just that you're not telling us what you're doing. Only today, which is the 18th of January, but when you see this video, it might be later, I'm not too sure. You're like, oh yeah, leaderboards are coming out at the end of the month. It took you three bloody months to say that? 
it's taking you three months to open your gob on Twitter and say, yo guys, they're having leaderboards at the end of January. Why don't you think about it first and then let us know? I mean, are you that disorganized that you can't tell us one simple fact? Are you that much of a coward that you know that people are going to get annoyed, but then you don't care? You really don't care. I mean, if you're a man and you'll go through all of this and you'll be like, guys, I'm sorry, but I'm telling you, it's, it'll be released in January. And look at that, I went on a 19 kill streak on the energy, but as I was saying, just be like, guys, at the end of January, we've got leaderboards. And then in February, we're going to have the almighty combat record. Just say it. Just, I don't get it. Just say it out there so everyone's aware and everyone actually cares. That way, we don't think you're putting us in a dock. And this stupid as it sounds, they are dumb. They are cuckoo in the head. Like Google, I just don't understand what developer we are with. What universe are we in? <laughs> Literally, no pun intended. Infinity Woods is the next dream la la land, and they're like, okay, let's make it a space. Everyone loved boots off the ground. Let's do that. Oh no, I've got a better idea. Let's add in supply drops. Idiots. You worry more about your supply drops in the freaking game. How about you grow some balls and actually stand up to your boss man? Peace out anyway guys. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. But seriously, share this video. I've got a lot of fun content coming out. Actually, I'm going to upload this on the 19th of Jan. Peace out.